Cheers, everybody. Cheers. We got Graham and Alex here. Smarty Pints. Coming at you. At you, everybody who's watching this. Rune Grow, we got something special. Uh, Alex has been drooling about this for a while. Yeah. Um, for those of you who've watched our uh, Catalyst or our Fast Ferment videos and stuff, since we did those, I have been trying to get our hands on one of these puppies, and we finally got it. We did. Well, you did. I did. He was in communication with uh, a gentleman who works for the company for the Fermentosaurus. Fermentosaurus? That's what we're going to be. Uh, uh, should be. Uh, yep. Yep. Like, you do the honors. Oh, here it is. So this is kind of like a cross between the Fast Ferment and the Catalyst. Uh, it is from Australia, which is why it's been so tough to get our hands on it. Uh, months and months and months ago, they said they would love to send us one. Just we would have to fit uh, or, or pay for all the, the shipping, which was going to be about $1,200 to ship one. So We weren't going to do that. No. So we waited and waited, and uh, they finally got them stateside, and were nice enough to hook us up with one. That's so you right. guys can check it out. We got a twofer here. We not only have the system itself, but we got the optional connections. As you'll see on the box, we're not gonna zoom in, but it'll say optional pressure lid. That's because for all of you people who don't understand what the system is all about, you can ferment in it, and you can carbonate in it, and serve from it. And serve, it's like a one-stop shop. Yep, yeah, the idea is so that you do not have to worry about introducing oxygen to your beer. No transferring, it's all in one. So yeah, that's right down there if you want to. Here it is. Boom. Yes, it's still in the bag. But uh, what it has is the uh, pressure connectors for in and out, pressure release valve, stainless steel float, and your liquid tubing. Yeah, one of the really cool things about this is that instead of a traditional keg where you have that liquid dip tube going all the way to the bottom of the keg, this one, uh, the dip tube is a float, so it's always pulling the beer off the top. So if anything is settling out and dry hopped or you, it's cold crashing and yeast is dropping out, none of that's going to be going into your beer until the very, very end when you've uh, basically tapped out. So it's really cool. You're always going to be getting a nice, fresh, clear beer getting into your glass. Yeah. Um, the, other, the other neat thing is that uh, this is a one-size unit. There's like no multiple sizes. And with that being said, it is 9.25 gallons, conical. Uh, for all you metric people out there, 35 <laughs> liters. Yeah, that's big, so it should be plenty of headspace, so hopefully we won't run into any issues like the blow-off tubes that people had to do with that catalyst. That's right. Um, another pro to using this that we found out so far is that you can actually force carbonate this puppy. It says here the max pressure for this, because it is PET, you can go up to 34.8 PSI. Yeah, that's plenty to force carbonate. That's a lot. So let's open this guy up. Yeah, yeah. Well, we may take this down. Yeah. Oh, I've been waiting for this. We actually have not opened this yet, so you're going to see it at the same time that we do. Here's your dump bottle. Oh, notice they gave us a lid. There's a lid. <laughs> this is the container itself, which I'll open. It's got shiny twist tie on it. While you're doing that. Ooh, is this a tomato cage? Looks like it. Oh cool, it has little handles on it. That's handy. That's a good idea. Handy, no pun intended. Oh, oh, oh. This is really fascinating. Look at that. Oh, it even says on here, max pressure, 35 PSI. I thought you said 34.8. It said 34.8 on the website. <laughs> Somebody, where's the point two? If any part of this fermenter looks damaged, do not use this fermenter under pressure. That's a good idea. I think that's a very good idea. If you do not need to understand any part of these instructions, <laughs> contact Oxbar for further information. Or just don't use it. Yeah, we'll probably just contact you because I want to use this. So what came in the bag? All right, what's in the bag? What's in the bag? All right, here is butterfly valve. Ooh, look at that butterfly valve. Yeah. It's uh, it's stainless in there. 
Oh, cool. They gave us little temperature strips. Yeah, the website said awesome. that uh, there's a temperature strip that you can just put along the side oh, of the vessel. Like huge jungus. Oh, no, that's a volume marker. Oh, cool. That was really nice. So it has uh, this little sticker we can put on there so you know what volume you are dealing with. Stick on liquid crystal thermometer and volume marker sticker down the side of the tank. That's really awesome. And you see in here, well, I mean, you might not be able to see, but that looks like it's... Uh, I should probably turn my ringer off. I'm going to do that to my phone, too. <laughs> Alright. Was it the wife? Um, I think it was you from earlier. Really? Yeah, at, at Connection. The future. So yeah, and here, that piece is actually stainless. That's pretty nice. Yeah, that's pretty neat. Um, but it is smaller than the catalyst. Yeah, that handle is really small. How does it turn? Does it feel good? Oh yeah, it feels great. Oh wow, it even locks. That's pretty cool. I like that. Yeah, that's nifty. So you can you can just turn it completely counterclockwise. It won't go clockwise from the lock position, but you can go halfway and then back clockwise. Uh, what else do we have? Oh, here's the lid. And nice. so it has a little gasket. And I think that that piece there with the ball lock connections will replace this piece. <laughs> the Safiri Hulk oh, mode. Oh. Did I scare you? <laughs> It was just my cat-like reflexes <laughs> kicking in. I thought you screamed like a girl. <laughs> <laughs> what? A very manly girl. Yeah. All right. Just drop the shit in. <laughs> That's okay. It's the airlock. All right. We can get more. So, this is interesting here. It looks like down here, kind of what we were talking about before with that catalyst, the way there's still threads on the bottom. On this, it, it, it's devoid of threads, so there's this little piece here that you can clamp right up in there. Actually, I think it goes in on the inside, and then it attaches with these threads, but it's, the threads are on the exterior, exterior, so uh, the beer does not come into contact with the threads. Yeah, it says here, the dump valve has been designed so that no threads are immersed in liquid, making it easy to clean. Nifty nifty. Then they have this little barb fitting here for transferring, I assume, if you want to transfer. But uh, I think one of the big pluses is you don't have to transfer. Oh, that's really cool. Yeah. Just imagine that. Just sitting, I mean, obviously it's connected, but it would be sitting on top there for dispensing. That's so neat. And then as you start dispensing, it goes down. It's really cool. cool. And it doesn't even go through there. That's good. Oh, that's that's kind of neat. All right. It's so fascinating seeing all this. It's like it's like Christmas. It is. Well, cool. Do you have anything else to add to uh, to this brand? I've got nothing else to add right now because this is brand new. Yeah. We just know the initial specs on it. Just need to put it together and put it to use and put some beer in it. And then that way we can get a full review to you guys how this works. Yeah. I'm looking forward to it. I hope they are too. I hope you are too.